This is a Fox News alert, and we're not overselling that. This actually is a blockbuster story. So the CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, just went on the Joe Rogan podcast. And while speaking to Rogan, he admitted that Facebook censored the New York Post's accurate reporting on Hunter Biden's laptop, which, of course, we all knew. But that Facebook did that because the FBI intervened and told Facebook that that laptop was Russian disinformation. And, of course, how would Zuckerberg know? They believe the FBI. Now, keep in mind, the FBI had Hunter Biden's laptop when they said that. They've had it since 2019. So when the FBI told Facebook that on the eve of a presidential election, they knew it was a lie. They interfered in the last presidential election. If ever there was an attack on democracy, it's the country's largest law enforcement agency weighing in in a dishonest way three weeks before the voting begins. Here's a clip. There was a lot of attention on Twitter during the election because of the Hunter Biden laptop story, the New York Post. Yeah, we had that too. Yeah, so you guys censored that as well? So we took a different path than Twitter. Um, I mean, basically, the background here is the FBI, I think, basically came to us, uh, some some folks on our team, and was like, hey— um, just so you know, like you should be on high alert. There was the, we we thought that there was a lot of Russian propaganda in the 2016 election. We have it on notice that basically there's about to be some kind of dump of of um, uh, uh, that's similar to that. So just be vigilant. So the FBI censored the story. Just to recap, in case you didn't live in this country prior to two years ago, that's not allowed. You're not allowed to do that. That is election interference. That is an attack on democracy by our most powerful domestic government agency. It's unbelievable. It defies belief. We actually put in a request to Facebook to see the communications from the FBI to Facebook. We have a right to see it. We hope that they'll send them to us. Keep in mind that in in October of 2020, a Facebook executive and Democratic Party operative called Andy Stone claimed that Facebook was blocking the story, quote, as part of our standard process to reduce the spread of misinformation. So they didn't tell us that the FBI had told them it was Russian disinformation. Again, when the FBI knew perfectly well that it wasn't. Harmeet Dillon has watched all of this from the very beginning. She's the country's premier civil rights lawyer, founder of the Center for American Liberty, joining us tonight. Harmeet, thanks for coming on. This seems like a blockbuster and a shocking story to me. It is shocking, Tucker, but it confirms information that we already had. So, for example, I already sued Twitter uh, after the election for taking people's speakers down, including my client, Rogan O'Hanley. And it turned out that he was taken down at the request of the California Secretary of State, who was auditioning to become a United States senator in the, uh, in the Biden administration. And so we filed a lawsuit, went to court, showed the, showed the judge all the evidence of, uh, of, of how the government was involved in the censorship, and the judge didn't buy it. This case is now pending before the Ninth Circuit, and there have been other instances like this. But hearing it from Mark Zuckerberg's mouth is, is truly stunning, and I don't know how the government can deny this. So to be clear, the timeline is that just three weeks before the 2020 election is when the FBI reached out to Twitter Uh, Facebook, as well as maybe other companies, and said, hey, you know, we heard about this Russian disinformation. You might want to suppress this information on your website. And by the way, when the FBI reaches out to you, taps you on the shoulder, and asks you to do something, that isn't a suggestion. They have subpoenas, they have guns, and they also are from a government that regulates you. And so this is shocking, and it, it demands an investigation, uh, but it just adds up to the pile of evidence that I've been saying points to a major reorganization or disbanding of the FBI is needed at this point. I don't trust anything that they say. So just to be totally clear, from a legal perspective, the U.S. government is not allowed to use, itself use disinformation to encourage censorship for partisan ends. That's not allowed under the Constitution, correct? Tucker, it's a violation of the First Amendment for the government to engage in censorship, quite clearly. And by the way, who needs Russian disinformation when we have our own? We have our own disinformation coming from the FBI and our own government. And, And this is not trivial just because it's being done to the other side. Anybody could control the FBI or some Some forces can get in there and decide they don't like Joe Biden. Are they going to go out there and start uh, spreading misinformation or or suppressing information that's truthful 
uh, about the Biden administration. I don't like that either. This cannot be allowed. We cannot let our law enforcement do this, and we've seen it before. So this is not the country that we want to be living in, Tucker. No, it's not. Armitil, thank you so much. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.